So we're learning more about what caused last night's power outage in New Orleans. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. Entergy says a piece of equipment called a lightning arrestor failed. Now they're looking to resiliency plans to keep these kinds of outages from happening. Alyssa Curtis joining us now. She's at the Entergy substation. Alyssa, can you explain a little bit more about what happened and exactly what that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sharice Katie Entergy tells us that ultimately the grid is old and we know that the grid is at least 70 years old, but more specifically Entergy talked to us about that lightning arrestor. They say it activated and ultimately caused the power outage. Now this piece of equipment protects from lightning and surges. Entergy showed us a failed arrestor and you can just tell how run down it was and our photographer actually told us that it smelled burnt when he went up and tried to get some video of it. Entergy says, well, sometimes when they fail, nothing happens. We know that wasn't the case last night. Entergy says a fault occurred and it activated. Last week we had a huge thunderstorm come through, roll through our system. So they took a lot of, of hits to the, the lightning arresters. But also if you have a, a tree branch that causes a fault on the line, if you have someone hit a pole, if you have any kind of fault on the line, the lightning arrestor sees that surge of energy and that and depending on the tolerance, that's when they activate. Entergy says there's 138 arrestors in total that need to be replaced. They say that they have replaced 24 so far. Earlier today, I spoke with council member Joe Geruso. He says ultimately he's frustrated because of what he says seems to be constant power outages. What's more important to me is I don't have power. I'm sitting in the middle of the say somewhere. This is how long it's going to last. This is what happened. And then to me, the most important thing is this is what we are doing to prevent it from happening again. That's that to me is the real lesson in all of this. Entergy told us just a little while ago that the best way to prevent these things from happening is to get more resiliency on the grid. They say again, the grid is very old, so they are working on projects to update this. They say things like artificial intelligence can help strengthen that grid. Reporting live at Entergy facility, Alyssa Curtis, WWL Louisiana.